Is it that time again? Is it time for five minutes with Tyler and Tim? Tim Mackey. Yes, sir. It is. Happy Friday. How are you? Good. How you doing, Tyler? I'm always a bit better on Fridays. Go figure. Yes, I have to agree. We had a short week this week. so. Um, but let's get right to it. It is Five Minute Friday with Tim Mackey and Tyler Cox. And we are seeing so many things going on within the AV industry we're hearing about bundles, we're hearing about video cameras, about audio. And there's one thing I really want to focus on today, and that is an all-in-one solution, right? And Yamaha Unified Communications has one of the one of the top-notch ones out there, I'd have to say. You must be talking about the CS700. Let's take a quick look at that guy. So our CS700 is now fully Zoom certified. So by the way, there are two models of this, Tyler, the 799 base AV version and the 899 version, which also includes a full SIP stack. Little known fact, Yamaha Unified Communications is the second largest conference phone maker in the world behind Polycom. So what is the CS700? It is our all-in-one collaboration soundbar that is now fully Zoom certified. We have the latest version of firmware out, which adds that certification functionality, and we'll take a quick look at that at the end. I know we've talked about in the past that when you're working from home, you don't need a fancy camera. You're better off spending the money on a nice audio product, like, say, the YBC 200. But for huddle rooms, when you get into an office environment and you have multiple people, you do need a wide-angle camera. Let's take a look at that. So today's huddle rooms, typically about two to seven people. You will need that wide-angle camera for a huddle room, as you can see. They call these bullet tables because they're kind of bumped right up against the wall and usually have a bull nose round end. This one yeah. is square. But this one's quite typical, right? Those two people at the head of the table by the display need to be in frame. We have a 1080p, 120-degree angle camera on the CS700. And now with the 4X PTZ Zoom, we've incorporated with the new firmware for Zoom certification. We're seeing people putting these into slightly bigger rooms now that we can zoom the camera in and out a little bit. Let's take a look at the key feature sets. So it is an all-in-one system, again, designed for huddle spaces, but we're seeing them creep into small conference rooms now with the added camera capability. It's mm -hmm. really plug and play. Driverless USB means you plug this device in, you open up your, your software, go to your drop-down menu for your mic, speaker, and camera, and there's the CS700. Probably the biggest feature on this guy right here is Yamaha's four element beam forming mic array. With human voice activity detection, we are actually able to lock onto your lips as you're speaking. We actually have a cool app that shows where the beam is pointing. Looks like a little flashlight, but you take a look at those pictures. These are classic use cases for the CS700. These are the types of rooms that it will go in. Believe it or not, we're seeing a huge use case in these at home right now. People are bringing the CS700, CS700 home, putting it in the living room for Zoom sessions, that sort of thing. Let's take a quick look at the device itself. Super intuitive uh, touch capacitance buttons on the front. Two uh, elements on either side of the logo for that beam forming mic, that 120 degree camera. And let's not forget, this is a fully enterprise class device. You can fully manage the Bluetooth, uh, have last phone disconnect requiring a repair so nobody's gonna eavesdrop in on meetings. This supports SNMP management traps, is fully mass deployable with DHCP options. So yes, we're seeing these used at home, at home. It's a fantastic price point. It's an amazing product, but it is fully scalable and enterprise class. We have some customers that have deployed hundreds of these units at once overnight using DHCP. Mm -hmm. Quick connections on the back, just couldn't be more simple, even for the home user, basic connections right here. Audio in from the display, extension mic. By the way, we rarely see that extension mic used. It comes with a 25-foot cable. The beam former is so phenomenal that you don't need the extra mic on this. We generally see people purchase that when they want to get a mute button on the table in a specific location. So keep that in mind, that option's available. There's your power in, there's your ethernet for your management. USB in is where you plug in the host computer that's doing the USB soft conferencing. And again, we're agnostic to any platform. Yes, it's now Zoom certified, but this thing works on any platform. Starleaf, BlueJeans, GoToMeeting, Teams, whatever. The second port you see down here is kind of a really cool unsung feature. 
-hmm. You can actually plug in a display link dongle here, Tyler. And we've kind of redefined what's needed in a huddle room. This will drive dual monitors with a display link driver if you have display link loaded on the laptops that connect into this. Uh, plenty of houses out there, plenty of companies out there are what I would call a display link house. Keep in mind we have this feature available for them too. It is actually well thought out enough. Even the mounting bracket is cool on this thing. One person can easily mount this guy. Comes with beautiful spacers. They look like little Lego stackable blocks so you can get the height, uh, excuse me, the depth right. You can literally tuck this thing right up underneath the display with no gap at all. And with this really, uh, really cool design on the bracket, there's two slots and two tongues where you can hang the 700 on the bracket once you mount it for a single person installation, do your wire management, and then flip it up and put the two screws in the end. So very well thought out product. Let's take a look at that app for the SIP version. So again, $7.99 for the base one, $8.99 gets you the SIP version. This has a full open API command set that you can download from our website, but we also have available a free Android app. So you can go get a very inexpensive tablet and do your SIP dialing that way as well. So Extron, Crestron, AMX, third-party control, and our own little app as well. Everything you need in one box. We don't shortchange you here at Yamaha. You literally order the 700 and you have everything you need to do in the box to have a great video conference. Last thing, software compatibility. As I said, it just doesn't matter what platform you use, even though this is now fully Zoom certified. Last thing I want to show you, Tyler, today is how to download the firmware. Let's take ah, a quick look at that. That's a big thing for sure. So here's our website. You go to products, video soundbar, click on that. You're going to see our soundbars. We have three packages at the moment, the ESB 1080, the 1080 in the collaboration kit, and the 700. We're going to select 700. Scroll down to right here, support and resources, uh -huh. and there is our new firmware right there. So you're going to click on that. It's going to download over here, and then I – Highly recommend you get the USB service application for Windows right here as well. Download that. You want to use the newest firmware, uh, excuse me, the newest service app with the new firmware. So that's pretty much it. By the way, be patient during the firmware update process. Start the <laughs> process and then go get a Coke. It takes about five minutes, but we have had some people think that, hey, this is not finished yet. It does reboot during the process, so just be patient. Let the firmware roll. And that is it for 10 minutes with Tyler and Tim today. Thank you, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. That was uh, about the most educational five-minute Friday I've had in a very long time. Um, I've actually, it's funny you say, you know, people have been deploying this and uh, it's meant for huddle spaces and we've seen it in enterprise, but I actually do use mine um, here set up in the living room uh, for Friday night virtual happy hours. So um, I do take my some phone calls and, and happy hours and zooming on, on this thing here in the living room as well. So it's it's a versatile piece of equipment, that is for sure. And it's all in one. And like you said, you know, we're not shortchanging you with anything with that that uh, high definition camera, those beam array microphones, um, and you know, all the technology that that's within there. So I appreciate the breakdown there. Um, I appreciate your time on this Friday morning. And uh, anybody who has any questions about the firmware, like Tim said, give it a you know five, 10 minutes. The CS700 will reboot, and then you should be good to go. If you do have questions, reach out to either Tim, myself, or go to uc.yamaha.com to find out more. Thank you for your time, everybody. And Tim, thank you for your, uh, you know, this wonderful five-minute Friday. We'll see you next Friday, Tyler. Good to see okay. you, buddy. See you later. Have a great week, y'all.